Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're gonna continue doing faces, but we're gonna take it in a different direction here. Instead of using realistic proportions and kind of keeping things a little more tame, we're gonna now take it and make caricatures, okay? So we're gonna be looking at real photos of real people, and we're gonna see what we can pull out and exaggerate and which features we can notice nuances and kind of push it a little bit and make more cartoon kind of versions of people, okay? And we'll take that and even further abstract it uh, in the future and move more to cartoons, all right? So let's go ahead and have some fun and let's do some caricatures. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do and learn about caricatures is work on head shapes. But I wanna take a look here at normal proportions. And I go through this more in depth in another video, but for uh, caricature purposes, I just wanna revisit our benchmarks here. So these marks, the top of the head to the bottom of the chin, we're looking at the middle, which is represented by this little black bar here, which is the exact middle of that size. And we're gonna notice in the female that her eyes are a little bit below it, making the head look a little larger. All right, this is, and again, this is just our averages to work with. Then gonna notice that the bottom half is marked by this green bar here, and that looks like right about where her nose is. Okay, so eyes a little below halfway, her nose there, and then halfway again, if we cut this in half, this bottom segment, this bottom fourth, we've got right about where her mouth is, but we can see her mouth is a little bit above halfway, okay? So these are kind of benchmarks that we can look for when we're drawing our females. And again, this is what we're calling an average, meaning that when we're gonna do caricatures, we wanna look for those deviations because that's what makes people look unique and what makes them look different from each other. Okay, let's look at a male. So a little harder to tell because of his hair, but I know it's sticking up, so I'm kind of imagining where the top of his head and the back would be. So let's look at our halfway mark. So look at this, halfway by this black bar here, we've, his eyes are pretty much right on the halfway mark, okay? We'll look at the halfway mark down here with this green bar, and we can see his nose is a bit above it, okay, a little bit above, and then we're gonna go halfway again, and we can see the bottom of his mouth is there. Okay, so his mouth is raised up even more, which makes sense when we think about the stereotypical male face where we have a, a little bit larger chin. In order to make room for this chin, that's gonna raise up the mouth a little bit, raise up the nose a little bit, and even the eyes here. So a little bit smaller head. Again, these are just averages, not that every male falls into this category, but this is something we can deviate from. One of the thing I didn't note on the female was where the ears were. So ears look like between the uh, eyebrows on this guy and the bottom of his nose. Let's go back to our female and looks about the same. Her, her ears are a little smaller. Now there, there can be a little wiggle room, right? Where the ears can be higher or lower, but we can see here, hers are about where the eyebrows are and then they're a little smaller in relation to her face and not quite going down to where the nose is. Okay, let's look at another male just for quick comparison. And uh, we've got just about the same thing going on here. Again, his hair is kind of sticking up a little bit, kind of hard to tell uh, exactly where it is, but imagining the contour of his head going about there. So again, his eyes a little bit higher, higher than uh, the females for sure. Nose higher again, and mouth raised up, again, giving him a larger chin. All right, so here is another female. And notice she's pretty much dead on where our first female was. Uh, eyes below the halfway mark, nose right on that halfway mark, and then mouth a bit above the halfway mark. And another one here, quickly, just to see that it's about the same. So we're getting very similar proportions here on our males and females, at least enough to use as averages. Okay, so let's look at some caricatures here, and let's uh, just see what people did here. So again, looking at things, exaggerating them, taking his nose, making it even bigger, looking at the shape of the face, a little bit of kind of the way that the, the smile is a little bit crooked, make it a little more crooked, choosing to make his head and hair look a little bit wider and bigger. Eyes are small, so you're gonna make them smaller, right? You don't wanna take small eyes and make them larger. You wanna make small eyes smaller, right? Noses that are big, a little bit bigger. All those things you wanna push in the right direction. Okay, here's another one. Again, small eyes, keeping them small. A uh, little bit larger nose, making it a little larger. Really pushing all those little angles in his face and his cheekbone and all that. Uh, pretty squared off jaw, making it really squared off. Uh, ear kind of goes out a little bit, right? Makes it go out a little further. But just pushing things in the right direction. 
Okay, here's another good one. You notice his heavy eyelids, right? So making him heavier, yet small, exaggerating his larger chin, kind of square flatness of his face, looking for that shape. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. So what I wanna focus on is head shape. So just take a look at some of these caricatures. Look at the interesting layout between like the head shape and like where they're putting the eyes really low, the nose higher, and just kind of messing with all those proportions we just talked about to kind of push them in a strange direction. Here's another one. Look at the shape of the head. Really kind of making the top small and the chin larger. Same with this one. Uh, Jay Leno's famous for his larger chin. And so we're taking it really big, but, but look at the overall shape. It's almost like a, a fruit, like a pear. All right, so really triangular for her jaw. So this whole head shape is what I want to kind of focus on today. Okay, here's, here's another one. Look at uh, their version of Lady Gaga. I mean, just really taking this head shape, making the head smaller, kind of flatter, and pushing out the cheekbone and all that. We want to try and push that. That's the first thing I want to do, and one of my first steps is really coming up with an interesting head shape for our caricatures to make them kind of stand out. These ones are awesome. I mean, gosh, all different, but all really unique to the actual artist. Look at this T shape they got going. Like, that's amazing, right? That can make that even look like a human head. And then Paul McCartney, uh, very round and kind of bulbous on the top and then, you know, smaller and round on the bottom. Uh, Ringo's, he really kind of got the chin a lot smaller here, but yeah, fairly normal as far as head shape goes. And then uh, John Lennon, right? They've got this point here. Nobody's head is like that, but uh, really kind of exaggerating different head styles. All right, let's go ahead and practice. Okay, so let's just uh, try and sketch out some of these uh, head shapes here. Okay, so looking for things to exaggerate. So I'm looking at his jaw and it's very squared off. So, and I'm just doing this in black pencil because I don't plan on taking this to completion at all. Okay, and then his hair kind of comes out a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Probably even like make that come out a little bit. He's got such a pronounced jawline. And in this exercise we're doing is all about coming up with something unique and um, something that kind of looks like them, right? But but different, but weird and pushed. Okay, so hair. I think his eyes look a little low, so I'm gonna put them like lower. And, and yeah, I'm not taking this much further than the structure here. Ears. Maybe a longer nose. Okay, let's uh, try this guy here. All right, so obviously very round. Okay, so interesting. It's all kind of round. Really big head. And a lot of that's just emphasized because he doesn't have any hair. So let's see. I want to make his cheeks big? I think so. I think I do want to make his cheeks big, even though his head is kind of big and round. Maybe I'll make his head round but small and then really kind of bring out his, his cheeks. Okay, let's see here. So he's got a very low brow. And a lot of this is like stereotypy, you know, and that's kind of what a lot of characters are built off of and car caricatures as well, but a lot of characters. So looking at like a really heavy brow, right? Very round nose and twist it a little bit. So we're going to twist that. And, you know, I don't know if I'm feeling this one too much, even in my little sketch, but it's it's almost like a gesture drawing from last year. Like, I can just try it and then abandon it if I don't like it, you know? I don't think his chin's overly big, so. Okay, so there's my head shape for this guy. And again, I know this is really loose and sketchy, but we're just trying to get some different head shapes. There's my head shape. Okay, so here's this uh, 
really cute looking kid. I don't know where they're from, what country, what's going on here, but oh my gosh, these are the most adorable eyes I've ever seen. So large head, right, make it kid-like. And then really, really small face. So I'm mean, gonna put the eyes like really far down here and they're gonna be huge. Really teeny little nose. little beautiful little mouth Don't have a really round cheeks little tiny chin and these cheeks all right I can probably push that head even further try and sketch out a head shape for this one. So a lot of it we can go on off of hair. So let's see here. I can't see the top of her head, but. Almost like a Darth Vader helmet kind of thing. Tiny nose as well. Keep the eyes low. And these are all faces I pulled off YouTube. Not YouTube, sorry. These are all faces I pulled off of uh, Pinterest. So some I know who they are, some I don't. I don't know if they're just people or I don't know if there's like a model or a celebrity or something. I don't know who she is. I saw her hair. Okay, I think her mouth is kind of smaller. And her chin is kind of slightly large on the large side. I mean, not, not overly large, but. but her faces, her features look a little kind of scrunched in the middle to me, slightly. Yeah, this is a tough one. Let's see. All right, not not the not my favorite sketch for myself, but mustn't forget the neck. All right. Okay, let's try this guy. I, I mean, man, I just love this picture. Tiniest head, and I think a lot of it has to do with this ankle too, but tiniest head and then the biggest like smile going on. So again, trying to exaggerate it. So tiny head, massive smile, small squinty eyes. Let's see if I can rough those in there. Kind of a larger nose, huh? Everything just kind of gets big as it gets down further round, very round nose. And that really big smile here. A little sideways smile too. It's actually kind of leaning this way.
again, I'm getting lost in the features here, but I'm just trying to get us practicing different head shapes rather than our normal human head shapes. All right, let me squeeze one more here. Okay, so <laughs> this is a funny Bill Murray picture. Kind of square, huh? The whole thing is just kind of a square. Especially with these little damn choppy things. It's got a chin going here. Lamb choppy things. Weird off. His eyes are a little lower. Turn those into eyebrows. And that hat, which is very, kind of helps square off this whole thing. Here's some back there. in a little bit, keep the square a little more. Okay, let's try uh, Agent Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson. So obviously, since he's got no hair, Kind of helps emphasize his head a little bit. Kind of a long face, right? I'm just kind of throw up in the eyes here. Let's see. Let's get this eyebrow thing going. in there. Let's see. That round head. All right, definitely have a, have a pencil here. Okay, definitely have a longer head here. Mr. Ben Stiller and a tiny chin. Tiny chin. Can't tell if he's given me blue steel from uh, oh, that one movie. It's so oh, Zoolander. It's so funny. It's a, a face he pulls in the movie with a name. Okay, so sideways kind of thing going with his mouth. Pretty long nose. Keep his face looking long. I'm gonna put his eyes a little higher, I think. Yeah, but his head looks kind of big too.
this is a really hard look to draw. Head shapes, getting lost, getting lost. Focusing on the head shapes. So it looks a little bigger up top. It kind of gets long. And skinny. Cheekbones here. somewhere back there. All right. Anyways. Long head. All right, let's try with Paltrow. So to find that actresses and they're, they're really hard to do because they've just got this very, well, I don't know, their, their features are harder to push, I think, because they're, I mean, a lot of them, their actresses are very pretty, right? So they have similar features, big, bigger head, you know, possibly big eyes, same kind of thing. Let's see, so I kind of see a little squared off thing with her face, I'm kind of looking at, and then her cheeks kind of coming out a little bit. So I'm trying to see what I can pull out here. And a lot of them, like, man, I was looking at so many pictures and a lot of them, like, pull very similar faces when they're smiling and stuff. It's like, man, I gotta, or, or just, no, no, not smiling, actually, a lot of photos when I was looking on Pinterest for people. They're just all kind of given, like, this model kind of slight pout look. And it's like, I don't want to draw that over and over again. So I ended up searching for just, like, so-and-so smiling just to try and find something, like, not giving me the model pout. Okay, so I went for kind of squared off thing with her hair. I'm trying to keep the hair kind of shallow here. Eyes. Really big nose, just very precise nose. Cheek out here. down. down. I'm just trying to get an overall shape. Okay. Okay, let's try this one here. I'm drawing it straight even though he's tilted his head. Okay, little chin, kind of like very triangular. I'm getting a triangular feeling here. Kind of little eyes. Kind of a big head going. I feel so, so things I want to look for. I'm, right now, I know I'm focusing on the whole head shape. Or I'm trying to at least. <laughs> um, but I want to look at like things like features. They look big, they look small. Eyes look pretty small. Nose looks very precise. But I'm getting the feeling like all his features are kind of like scrunched more in the middle of his face. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's one thing I look for. Do the features look wide and spread out? Or do they look very scrunched? Like, and I feel like they look very scrunched. He's got this little pout look going. Here's the little pout look I was talking about. The male version of the pout. Kind of a thin nose.
Keep the head in a very precise goatee. I, I just, this is not head shape, I know, but man, I feel like I won't look like a if I don't do this. Okay, and chin. All right, and I got this little triangular thing going with his head. And for doing caricatures, this is kind of like the first thing, you know, we should do is just do a sketch and see if I can capture something. And if I don't, do another one and see if I can capture it a different way. But, you know, and if I don't, then, you know, maybe maybe uh, try some another caricature, right? Like if I can't pull, pull off something or find something that feels like, oh yeah, that feels like, I'm like this one I feel like, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow, I don't know, I don't, I don't think so. I think I need to lower the eyes a little bit. As I go back and look at it a little bit. You know, like I wouldn't wanna just jump into this one like this, I would wanna work on that one a little more. Um, this is the first one I think I feel like, oh yeah, yeah, I think I got a little bit of him here. With this head shape and the eyes and the scrunched up features that I kinda wanna pursue in the future. Maybe we'll do this one later. All right, cool. Okay, and I think that'll uh, just about do it there for our uh, head shape practice. Just wanted to try and experiment, get away from our, our traditional kind of upside down egg, you know, which which is most of us fall into to some degree, but try and just push it to things like squares, triangular squares, long shapes, round shapes, you know, more rounder up top, you know, bigger head, eyes lower. Again, we got squares, kind of triangular here, uh, pear-shaped, even more pear-shaped, those kind of things, all right? All right, hope you had fun exploring different head shapes and how far we can kind of push things and still get humans and still get them to look like people. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.